Okay, well, we got the eggs or the eggs are hatching. It's uh, June 3rd. Um, we had 27 eggs in here. They were laid on 7 22 of 18. They were due to hatch in April of uh, 22nd of 19. Now, chameleon eggs, at least the panthers, they could hatch anywhere from 8 to 13 months. Right now, we're in month 11. So it's, just, it's the third. So it's actually like, what, nine, ten and a half months. But um, we have eight so far down there. We have another one right here. And then we have two more that are shrinking and starting to pip. Now you can see this one here is shrinking and that one there. The rest all still look healthy. So I want to show you the setup and uh, show you what we what I do over here to uh, get these babies in uh, in the tubs and, and they're and they're, you know get them all taken care of here um, I'm gonna need two hands for this but I'm gonna get this little guy on the stick here and then uh, I'll get him in the enclosure and I'll show you what's going on so we got this guy I'm trying to get this guy off the stick right now there he goes so these are the tubs. I've been doing the bioactive uh, setups. I got the live plants in here, the ivy. I got some small um, Shuffleras umbrella plants. There's a little bigger one there. It's actually doing pretty good in here. Um, Prothos. This is actually just a little fake vine in here just to get uh, a little more cover form. But we got the drainage tube here. Got a couple layers. I got my drainage layer in the bottom. Um, this mesh to hold the dirt so it doesn't mix in. And then uh, I got some springtails and isopods in the bottom here. What I do is I keep track how many chameleons are in each tub. I got two in here, eight in this one. And uh, sometimes it's a little tricky to find all, all the chameleons in one tub, but at least I know what I, what I got in there. So... Uh, these, these guys hatched first. They hatched about a month ago. There's a little guy there. Um, they're definitely taking their time. I think what it is is I just do the closet incubation. And uh, this year was pretty pretty cool in the, in the Midwest. We had some record-breaking breaking temperatures and stuff like that. And uh, they're just taking their, their sweet old time to hatch. But... All the eggs, you know, they still look healthy. There's no smell to them. They're hatching on their own. So there's no reason not to think that they're all going to hatch. Um, I got this clutch, and then I got a clutch that should be hatching towards the end of this month, right after this. So I have, uh, I'm going to have my hands full over here. But I got the tubs here, the lighting. I got a four-foot dual linear bulb in here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, one bulb is a UVB. Um, it's a T5. And it's a 5.0. And the other one is a plant light. Now this bulb here is just an incandescent heat bulb in here. And what I do is I try to keep it right around 80 degrees. Um, I had this cover on. I had this cover on this light. But um, it got a little warm. This is my uh, bug room in here. I'm going to get all my crickets and stuff like that set up. So it's warm in here anyway. And I try and keep this right around 80 degrees. And uh, I'm trying to get that guy crawling around. And uh, yeah, they have the cool spot in the back. And uh, the, the warm spots in the front. Warm spots at 80. Cool spots at like 70, I think 75 I have it. And uh, I got enough here for one more tub for this clutch. And I got a whole rack built here. So I'm going to show you that in a second here. So, that's the one that just came out. A little worn out. <laughs> I got another one back there hiding. And then all these guys are doing actually pretty good. They're all eating good. That one's the most recent one in the tub. But I uh, got one back there, I got one on there, and they like to hunt with the uh, 
with the substrate in the bottom and stuff like that there's definitely uh enough bugs in here to uh keep them keep them active and keep them hunting and stuff like that i got a leaf litter down there just oak leaves that i dry in the oven um i dry them at uh, 300 degrees for half an hour and um that's about it but i'll show you the rest of the setup here my setup i have the three shelves built right now i just have my crickets i got the baby crickets in here um i've been hatching these since i was expecting the baby chameleons so there are a couple different sizes but i have different size chameleons to feed them to and stuff like that um these are the smallest ones these are the pinheads you can see i have all these guys here and i just hatched out a bunch more i just took these out of the incubator right now i have them incubating with my ball python eggs so they take a little bit longer they usually take about 10 days to hatch these are taking about uh about 14 days so i usually have uh i do the crickets and i once i get them i, I get the the lay boxes in in, in the in the crickets so they can lay the eggs and i stick the lay boxes in the incubators but I have these set up with uh, the mister. There's the tub. And I have the misting system in the back. You can see there. They shut off valves. That's on timers. And I can set this up for, I could hold uh, 18 tubs. So three, six times three. Yeah, 18 tubs, which should be enough for about two or three uh, breeding chameleon females. Um, right now I just have isopods in here, crickets, and the babies on the bottom. So once my other clutch hatches, I'll do the same thing on the bottom here that I did on the bottom, is I'll get this middle row going for the next clutch, and so on. But um, that's pretty much the setup for baby chameleons. Um, if you have, you know, I have... I'm expecting 30 eggs for the bottom for the bottom three tubs, or actually 27 eggs, and then 31, and then another 12 after that. So you figure if each baby eats basically 10 pinheads a day, you're going to go through a lot of crickets. That's why I do the breeding because you know you order online and stuff like that. Um, I think it's just better off breeding because you order online. If it's too hot, they're going to die. If it's too cold, it's going to die, and it's um, you get thousands. Of thousands of crickets when you hatch them obviously you can see and there's a lot more in there these are just from one from one tub like that you can see all the pinheads in here and I've been actually feeding them off as uh, as I need them and there's just endless supplies of pinheads in here so I breed the crickets and it's not really I do anything I just I get one of these lay boxes in here and uh, put them in there with the with the adults when I get them and uh, leave them in there for 24 hours and put them in the incubator. Pretty easy. Um, but if you have any questions on uh, upcoming clutches or availabilities or anything like that, these, the first, I have eight here, two here. So the first couple I have, the first five or so, will be available in probably uh, about July late july early august i wait until they're at least three months old before i sell them so this way i can identify if they're male or female and to make sure that they're healthy and eating well and uh so far they're all doing great so uh these should be ready pretty soon but uh leave me any uh questions comments um don't forget to hit the notification bell and i'll keep you updated i have um a ball python my uh expecting double head ultra male clown uh, eggs coming in another uh, couple weeks towards the end of June beginning of July and uh, more clutches of chameleons coming so uh, keep you posted thanks for checking us out and uh, we'll talk to you soon bye